Hey out there Jeep tuning fans, we're here today with our lead calibrator Brian McMahon. He's been tuning FCA cars for the last 10 years. He's an expert. Uh, he's here with our 2 liter turbo Jeep from 2018 and he's got it on the rollers and we're making some tunes for it. <laughs> Where do, we, where do you start on a 2 liter turbo induction? Where do we even begin? That's a really good question because they've never had a direct injected turbocharged engine that's been offered through FCA. So we're pretty much starting from scratch here, just trying to figure out the general, the general operation strategy of this engine and this controller. Um, so right now I'm just trying to employ some of the normal principles that we commonly use and trying to figure out the turbocharger boost control strategy, um, some of the torque management interaction, as well as the direct injection. Sure, so let's break that down into people like me speak, right? What does that mean? Like, just high level, what are we doing? We're trying to make more power. Spark, fuel, timing, right? I'm generally trying to make, um, I'm trying to gain control of the boost so I can more or less see if I can control the boost curve and potentially reconfigure it for more off-throttle torque and better drivability. Now, how much boost do you, did it make factory and what do you think you want to make in your tune? Oddly enough, this thing makes 26 pounds of boost stock. Wow, 26 um, pounds. I, I imagine they gain these efficiencies by the direct injection as well as a few other things here and right. there. Um, it also has a very, very uh, well-designed boost control strategy, which makes it a little bit difficult to uh, manipulate. So, I mean, at 26 pounds, are we out of boot? Like, how much room do you think it has to make boost on this factory setup? It probably only has three or four pounds of headroom. Okay. All right, so it's, it's wound pretty tight. Yeah. But that being said, I think we talked on some of the initial stuff you did. You made some pretty good power here, regardless of the boost, right? Yeah, um, we've had as high as, uh, what's it, 20 horsepower and 30 foot pounds. Really? So, so, and what, and I think there's more, I think you're, search, you're in search of more right now. What do you think outside of boost is going to be your main thing that's going to add power? Um, it's probably, it likely lies in the variable cam, um, the variable cam angle control. That's the only real thing I can see, because being that the, being that the boost is already pretty much maxed out as far as it'll go from the factory. Mm -hmm. So, we're really going to have to break it down and get um, really, really figure this thing out sure. to make it all work together. Right now, we have a very, uh, a very noticeable uh, drivable tune that works really good on the street. And I took it to the dyno, to try and check out exactly if I, if there was anything more to be had as far as boost gain, as far as any kind of power gain. So right now, I'm, I'm to the point now where I'm just taking notes and splitting hairs and trying to gain any little thing I can without. Obviously, without without hurting anything or degrading any cats or anything of that nature. Sure. So you have a pretty drivable tune. Um, I'm sure a lot of people want to know, and I know I do. What what is the difference you've seen on this new two liter as you're tuning it versus the old three six? Both in terms of power and really, I know this is you know connected to the ZF8 Trans too. Uh, as a calibrator driving every day, what have you seen? Tell us a little bit about the differences between the two and what you found. Well, it's a completely different package compared to the 3.6 with having an A580 in behind it. Um, the 3.6 was a little flat through the power band, which you would notice all the time. This one is completely different from that. It's a little high strung and it's got quite a peaky torque curve during regular, you know, during your regular daily commute. So what I've worked on to do is bring in the boost a little sooner and round it and round it out and broaden that torque curve um, because what what we found over the years for most Jeep people and most people that daily drive their vehicles is that when it comes to these you play with these recreationally but the rest of the time you spend the majority of your time from you know 15 to 40 percent throttle so I've really focused on that and you know at the end of the day we're not going to get major big peak gains out of a system like this because it's pretty well designed from the factory. So what it makes peak is pretty is generally what we're going to get. What I've been working on is all of the 
normal drivability and everything under the curve. So it really, really makes a large, like a really good impression when you when you load the tune and go in daily drive your Jeep. So let me let me make sure I understand. It just help me. The factory horsepower number for this Jeep was what? Um, 221. Okay, so 221 is about what you expect at peak. Yeah. But what you're what you're saying is really the massive drivability and increase that people are going to feel right. is down low. Yes. It's at the part where you're at most of the day anyway. It's when you're going from the stoplight or when you're going over a log or when you're doing yeah when you're crawling and yeah. stuff like that. I mean, most everything about crawling and trails is about throttle modulation and mm -hmm. narrow you know narrow to mid throttle control. So that's really what I'm focusing on to really make the biggest difference there. How do you think that's gonna change? So obviously with a boosted system, the torque, the way the torque comes in is gonna be different at level three six, right? What do you think guys on the trail might expect during that interaction? It's gonna be different, right? So uh, what are users who are used to a three six that may be tuning up their new two liter for the first time? What can they expect? This is a completely different animal. Um, this thing, this thing makes torque everywhere that the 3.6 didn't, for lack, you know, for gen generally speaking. Um, it's like I said, stock. It's it's a little peaky, so you get into it and you demand a little bit more from it, and then it comes on really hard. So, like I said before, I, I tried to broaden that out some, um, so you can you can really modulate the throttle when in the places you need it, like you know trails and stuff like that, as well as still retaining some good zip or you know, daily driving. Cool. Okay, Jeep fans, so we'll have a tuner out for the 2018 plus two liter Jeep JL just about any time now. Stay tuned to our website below to see more about when this comes out for your Jeep.